Unexpected legal challenge by gay rights organization, the Castries-based Eastern Caribbean Alliance for Diversity and Equality, ECAID, is being viewed by the team unity government as another example of a country that allows anyone to access the court. According to ECAID, legal challenges in Barbados and several OECS countries, including St. Kitts and Nevis, can be expected by year-end. EK's executive director, Kenita Placid, said communities need to understand how the colonial laws now contribute to hate speech, discrimination, and violence against LGBT individuals. Meanwhile, Singis and Nevis's Attorney General, Vincent Byron, has indicated that the government will look forward to the interpretations of the court on this matter, as there are no common law examples that provide guidance. This is a matter that has not been on the uh, priority or on the agenda of the, of the cabinet, of the Team Unity Administration, but is one in which we would have to see whatever such a challenge comes and how the court would respond to that. I think it's important to emphasize that rights are enshrined in our constitution, a number of rights, and from time to time, the courts do lay down certain guidelines as to how individuals should be tried, should be treated in our societies. This is not a matter that has been defined by our common law, by other cases. And we look forward, if that's the case be, to have some sort of elucidation by the courts when we do so. It is clear, however, that the government will stay clear of controversial approaches and are not in a hurry to change the colonial laws governing gay relations. Glenn Bart for SKN Newsline.